this is Leslie from Just Less Creations. I thank you for being here um, for this cake pop build. It's it is was a request from one of the members of our group to do a Blues Clues themed cake pop. So today we're doing blue from Blues Clues. Um, so this is what our end goal is going to be. So thank you for being here, whether you're watching um, the replay on Facebook or whether you're out on YouTube. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to this build. So one thing that we do here is we do it live. And this morning when I went to do this live, we were having lots of technical problems. For those of you that were on the live stream this morning, from the bottom of our heart, we apologize and we just appreciate the grace that you grant us to be able to still bring you content and to do this and just wing it as it goes. So we tried twice live streaming this morning and well, it was just too choppy. And so now we're just gonna record the video and upload it. And if you have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments. I will answer them, I promise. So let's get started. We're gonna start from the beginning. Now our blue has a lot of weight. His ears are made from modeling chocolate. And usually when you have a lot of weight at the top, it's going to want to have a tendency to pull down your cake pop, down your lollipop stick. So before we even get started, I recommend you using a cake pop dough that is very dense and doesn't have a whole lot of binder to it because the more binder, the softer the cake pop dough is, and it, it won't stay on the stick as well. So we need a nice dense cake pop dough. So today I have a vanilla pound cake that I have. It has just a hair of vanilla um, buttercream that I put in it. All right. Let's get this stuff out of my way. All right. The first thing we're going to do is roll our dough. Now I'm going to push, push, push. I'm going to try to get all the air bubbles out and all the cracks, all that stuff out of there. We don't want it to fall off or stick. We don't want any gaps in our pop dough that has air pockets in there. We want to get rid of them. So I'm just going to push until I feel it all come together. And then I'm going to roll it backwards, really light on the touch to make it a ball. So the first thing we're going to do is, um, we're gonna make the crown of his head. So it's narrower and in a V shape at the top, a rounded V. And then we're gonna do at the bottom um, around his neck. So let me show you how we do that. All right, so I'm just gonna take about a thumb's width at the top and we're gonna push, roll my hand back and forth to kind of start forming where his forehead is going to be. So this will be the bridge of his nose, and this is his forehead. So now I'm just gonna give the, that V shape, that rounded V shape here. And then I'm gonna flip it on the bottom. And again, I'm just gonna take probably about a quarter of an inch at the bottom, and I'm just gonna push it back again, and I'm gonna create his neck. Just gonna create his neck, and that's where we're gonna put our lollipop stick. And then I'm just gonna flatten everything out. We don't want any pointy stuff. So here we have about a half of an inch where hit the bridge of his nose is gonna be and his cheeks. All right, so everything's nice and rounded. We have the V for the top of his head, the, where his eyes will be, the bridge of his nose, his chin, and his neck. So we've got all that stuff done. Now I'm going to take this tool right here. It has this curved edge. Now I like to use them whenever I am creating mouths. So if his nose sat right here, then right underneath that, I'm going to put, I'm gonna push that in, like I actually indented it in, and I'm gonna roll it back along the side of his face. And I'm gonna do the same thing for this side. I'm gonna push it in, 
and I'm gonna roll it back along the side of his face. Now I'm gonna take that same tool and I'm just gonna um, flatten out all that extra cake pop dough that came up when I was doing that. I actually wanna create a shelf, if you will, from the top. I really indented, I really impressed that. And I'm just right here where his tongue would be. I wanna push that down and smooth all that extra dough out because I don't want that extra dough in my chocolate. That'll be for his tongue. This is his bottom jaw. Now, I'm gonna take the bone tool next, right here, the rounded part, and I'm gonna push that rounded part down in. I'm gonna create a spot where he, you know, the dimple would be. Like that. Let me do it on the other side real quick. All right, so now we have this really impressed area. I'm just gonna kind of, I only want the top part of that indent where the dimple would be. So I'm just gonna just kind of smooth that out a little bit on the bottom, but leave that top part there. Same thing with this side, my finger depressed that. All right, now right between where his upper and lower lip is, I'm just gonna push it together a little bit, just on the sides. And the same thing over here. Actually, I wanna depress this one down a little bit further. I need that to really stick out. Now I can push it together. Just want to create just a hair of a gap between his lips, like so. And then I, I want to create that bottom jaw with like another rounded spot. I'm going to leave it out there just a little bit. Just like that. Okay. Now I'm going to take a lollipop stick and put it up through the bottom. Now I have already dipped um, this in white chocolate. It's already got an inch worth of white. Um, to create that barrier between the paper and the cake pop dough. And I'm just dipping the tip, tapping off the excess. And I wanna hold it this way and not here on the, his forehead because you'll smush him. So I just wanna put it right in the middle there. I'm gonna push it into the cake pop dough and I'm gonna spin it clockwise until I feel it grasp. You can feel it nice and tight. And then I'm gonna turn it a quarter of a turn back until I feel it really grab. And then I'm gonna take that excess off the bottom, like so. And I just wanna get rid of my fingerprints that were on there. Okay, oh, my napkin here. All right, so <clears throat> for time's sake, this is the one from the first live video that I dipped or that I put this uh, stick into. I'm gonna go ahead and dip this one while I wait for the chocolate to set up on the inside of the um, cake pop dough from the other one. So this is actually from the first live stream that we did that failed. Um, so we're going to dip this one. Now, when you have indents like this, it's a place where your chocolate can pull when you get air bubbles underneath there. So I don't want that. I don't want air bubbles in there. So I'm actually going to take my palette knife and fill that in first so I know that there's no air bubbles in there. same within the center okay so then I'm going to put my cake pop in at a 45 degree angle and as I pull it towards me I'm gonna spin it just until the chocolate hits itself so at a 45 pull it back and spin it just like that all right and I'm also gonna hold it at a 45 degree angle as I tap it
right, so now we're just gonna let this sit and set up completely. We need it to harden fully before we uh, stick ears on there. So we're just gonna sit it aside, let it harden, and in the meantime, I'm gonna show you how to make his eyes, his ears, um, and all the other elements that we need for this build. So we'll put it aside. All right, we'll move these out of the way. Now, his eyes are elongated. Normally when I make my own eyes, it's usually just about a circle like this with a white and then the black, the pupil part is that part. But Blue's eyes are like oblong. So we wanna make these elongated whites of his eyes. So we're gonna take our number six Wilton's icing tip here. And I already have the white rolled out. It's just modeling chocolate. And we're gonna just pop a couple out here. Oops. Always happens. I can never hold on to that. All right. We're gonna do an extra one. Always do an extra one. Okay, so now we have these three. Now, these are just little tiny, let me get that chocolate off. Little tiny dots made from modeling chocolate. So in order to make them elongated, we're gonna push down and push up at the same time. So we're gonna push down and push up. Okay, we're gonna push down and push up. Same thing here, oops, roll over. Push down and push up. All right, so now we have the whites of his eyes. We're gonna just take some black now and just make some little tiny, oops, that's too much. I mean, little tiny, little tiny balls. Try to make them as close to even in size as possible. That one's a little bigger, no, a little smaller. All right. So I'm gonna take it, just, whoop, I'm gonna take it and put it on the bottom of the eye. Right. I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm just gonna push it down, flatten it down on there. And we can fix, if it's oblong or whatever, we can fix it when we're ready to put it on his eye. All right, so there we have his eyes ready to go. All right, the next thing we're gonna do is create his nose. His nose, um, if you see, it's actually a triangle shape. It's a three-dimensional triangle. See, I have it sticking out off of the bridge of uh, his nose there. It sticks out a good quarter of an inch. I love doing characters accentuating something on his face. So we're going to do that with the nose. Here I have some modeling chocolate again. And I just need a little bit. It's probably going to be a little bit too much. Let's take some out. All right. So I'm just going to roll it in a ball. And then I'm just going to create a triangle, just like that. And then I'm going to flatten both sides. So I'm just going to squeeze it. And I'm going to try to keep that triangle, but I want to make it thinner, like so. So now I have this triangle, like this. It's about a quarter of an inch wide. In the top, I want it to be real nice and smooth on the bridge of his nose. So I'm actually just gonna push it back a little bit. That way it'll actually have a little point there. I don't know if you can see. If I do that, see that point back here, we'll connect that with the chocolate that's drying currently on there. So we need to be aware of that, that it's there. I want to round out the tops of it a little bit. And then we have this pointy tool. I have no idea what this one is called. I rarely use it unless I make a nose. I'm really just going to take it at like halfway between the one um, side of it. And I'm going to push it up and spin it like that. Now I'm going to do it to the other side. I'm going to push it up and spin it. And all of a sudden we have this crazy little nose. And I'm just going to bring it back into that triangle shape without it melting all over my hands. 
I dropped it and it messed it up on the wrong side. All right, so there we go. And we're just going to lay it aside and let it firm back up because my hands are hot. All right, so now we have his nose made. The next thing we're going to do is make his ears. So here I have some modeling chocolate that actually looks a little lighter than my blue. Um, so in order to make his ears, I want to make sure that they are even on both sides. So I got my handy dandy kitchen scale. So last night when I was making them, I wanted to make sure he was even. Do I have some cornstarch. Now all I'm going to do is just roll it to make the top part of his ear. All right and his ear goes like like this and then connects to his head up here. So we're just going to make a rounded part. It's really hot. My hands are really hot so it's really melty. So we're just going to kind of make the shape like this and then lay it down. Let's do the same thing. Create this up the other ear. Little ball and then I'm going to roll it. Extend up the ear. Let's give it a little bit more. Definitely need it to cool down before we put it on his head. All right. So there we have two. We're going to put his spots on next. We're going to take the same color that we used for his ear and make our spots that we're going to put on his face here and here and his ears and on his cheeks. We're going to do that. So I'm just taking my darker chocolate, same color as my nose, adding a little cornstarch. And then I'm going to put it through my KitchenAid um, pasta maker because I want it super, super thin, like paper thin. Because when we put it on, we just want it to kind of blend with what's already there. Okay, so here we have our darker chocolate. It's super paper thin because we just want it to lay over um, the lighter color chocolate to make our spots. So we need one, two, three, four, four bigger spots. And we're going to use the number 1A for this, the bigger spots. And then we're going to use our number 12 for the smaller ones, which are up here on his ears. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut them out. So we've got some water and we're just going to use it as glue. We're going to put a little bit on some of these spots. Oops. I'm just going to take them. There's one here. Oh. I put water on the spots that need to go on his face. We'll just move them out of the way until later. Put one there, one here. And they're so thin, they just kind of blend in. Okay, and then we'll just leave them lay aside. Actually, we need a piece to go around his on his one on his um, ear. It actually wraps around. I did notice that I had to look him up to get where all those spots went. So I'm just going to take just a real thin piece and wrap around um, where his ear connects to his head. 
because it just seems like there's a spot that's there. So I'm just going to kind of cover up some of that light blue. And then when we put, make, put, his, put the ones on his head, we'll put one right there where it actually connects. Reshape his ear. And we'll just set it aside and let them firm up because they're still really warm from my hands. So move all this stuff out of the way. All right, so we have eyes, we have spots, we have his nose, we have his ears. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to our... I need this one next. We're going to go back and work on putting him together. These are the ones that we did earlier. I actually popped them in the refrigerator for five minutes while we were waiting to make sure that chocolate is firm enough. Now we'll see. To be able to, to withstand what I'm about ready to do. Now, now guys, when you do these, make sure that you actually let these sit for, um, the one I did last night was overnight. So I just left him sit out on the counter, cool, so that the emulsification that goes on between your chocolate and your cake pop dough really firms up because when you start putting all these elements on, you're going to put pressure on it and you don't want it to um, break off or slide down your cake pop. So let it sit for a while. These are not a last minute cake pop that you can put together. So um, with that in mind, let's go ahead and start putting our elements together. We're going to start with his nose. So here's the nose that we made earlier. I'm just going to put a little bit of water. Wait, where his nose is going to be? Oops. Oh, I should have looked at that before I uh, left it firm up there. Yeah, push it on. Square up his nose a little bit. Let's find that tool. Moves it up. I have too much water on his nose. It's sliding. So I'm just using my fingers because they're so hot to soften up that dough a little bit so I can make it actually stick to the chocolate. There we go. All right, so I guess we should probably put it where it's supposed to be on a space. All right, so we've got his nose on. We'll go ahead and put our, his eyes on next. I'm going to use our paintbrush again, if I can keep it in my fingers. Just going to put spots here. It's too much water. Okay. Just need to find two that are very similar in size. I like that one. See if we can find another one just like that one. All right, we're gonna do these two. Just want the whites to touch, just like that. All right, so now we have those two. Um, let's go ahead and put his spots on. We'll pull these two back here. We're going to put one right above 
the dimple on each cheek. Do it on this side. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, and up here where Blue's ear connects to his head, I'm gonna put another spot right there. It's just a small one, kind of overflows from his ear. Just like that. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and put a mouth in here real quick. Let me grab some pink. I have some pink strips that I was using yesterday. I'm just gonna take a little bit of it. Just gonna roll, put a point on each end, like so. Oh, let's start over. Try to kind of e keep it even. And we're just gonna lay it right inside, under his nose. Right here, maybe. I'm just gonna push it into that spot where we created. his face done now we're gonna go ahead and do his ears all right let's move this out of the way now when we're working with um, something that's really weighted you know whenever I was doing um, wedding cakes and things like that we always had to use dowel rods or we had to use something that um, would allow you know your what whatever you were connected to your cake to stick out we needed to find something that we could do that so that it wouldn't fall over i have found with cake pops <clears throat> the best thing that i can do use are these thin spaghetti it's edible um, so you can actually put it inside your cake pop you just have to let your customers know especially if there's kids going to be eating it that there is you know a little piece of spaghetti inside the ear that connects it to the head it just adds stability so i'm just going to take probably a little over an inch make them even an inch of my spaghetti noodle like that and i'm going to first of all we need to flatten this spot because it's going to stick off of blue's head And it's still pretty warm All right and I'm just going to stick it in oh I forgot to put some glue on it like so should have done this earlier all right same thing with this one It's just going to help hold that end at the top. I'm just going to take this stick. Oops, wrong one. We're working on this one. All right, this stick I'm just going to take and actually create the holes. So I'm just going to push it down inside like so. And I'm going to do it on the other side, making sure they're kind of even. So, kind of like 
drill in the hole before you put the screw in there. All right, get rid of the cake pop that came out through the hole. And now we're going to go ahead and I'm going to dip that into a little bit of chocolate and then stick that down in the hole. Like so, and then I'm going to use a little bit of chocolate. Oh, chocolate soft. It's okay. I'm going to use a little bit of chocolate then here to glue it into place, just like we did with the backpacks. Now, I would lay this and let it set up till that chocolate that's connecting it sets up completely before I would put it up on the tray. And that's what we're gonna do on this side. Let me just go ahead and dip this one in chocolate first. Be a little easier, I think. And we're just gonna let that sit like this. So for now, that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna lay this on here to hold that in place. And here's the reason my white chocolate or my light colored chocolate here is I used, when I made it, there's too much corn syrup in it. And in order to fix it, I would need to melt some more chocolate in there and um, then re then re um, need it again. I just haven't done it. I've just been working with it the way it is. Um, that's the way this one was last night. And I actually left it sit and firm up for me and it worked really nicely. So, but I will tell you, I had been playing with it and it cracked here. So I wanna show you what happens once you let, if you don't let it sit up, set up, then you do run of course, I'm flipping it all over the place or whatever. But it, if it does crack here, you really just, all you need to do is take a little bit of your warm modeling chocolate or warm melting chocolate and cover that crack. Because it's not gonna slide anymore. It did it last night because I didn't give it the full time to set up before I decided I was gonna put all the elements on them. So, and once you cover that crack, then it's all good to go. All right, there you go, guys. It is your Blue's Clues Cake Pop tutorial. If you find that the ears are too heavy, you can always make them um, lighter. Don't make them three ounces. Make them smaller than that. Um, but try the spaghetti. That's It's beautiful to use. Just make sure that if, if you're going to give them away to family, friends, or, or even add them to your list, that you actually make sure you tell your client that you have spaghetti in there it's edible but you just don't want somebody choking on a piece of spaghetti not expecting it inside your cake box so all right guys um we'll schedule maybe a q a session after i give you guys enough time to watch this so that way if there was any questions while i was doing the cake pop build that you could um yeah, ask them during a q a session so until the next time be creative and be blessed and think outside the box and try it and make sure if you do try it, that you post the pictures inside the Facebook group. All right, we'll see you later. Thanks, guys. Today, won't you click the link to reserve your spot in my consultation schedule? Don't stress any longer. Let me help you get the breakthrough that you're looking for today.